Hello, my name is Dr. Arland Hill. The following presentation will detail an advanced form of nutrient testing that I have been using in my practice for several years now. This testing, known as micronutrient testing by Spectrocell Laboratories, has helped many of my patients overcome previously unalleviated signs and symptoms as well as improve many chronic disease states. Micronutrient testing offers what other tests cannot by utilizing technology that gives an accurate assessment of cellular performance. Micronutrient testing is considered a functional intracellular analysis. The testing is considered functional because it uses living tissue in the form of white blood cells to assess how a person's own cells actually utilize various nutrients. The testing is intracellular because it looks inside the cells to determine the growth rates of each patient's own white blood cells when exposed to a series of very specific nutrient environments. This is important since the environment outside of the cell while important, does not generally reflect the nutrient status of an individual. The analysis of the testing interprets the results related to an individual's own status. This is in contrast to the classical method of comparing you against a set range for which you may not match. Analyzing the data from the lab in this manner compares you against yourself. This takes into account your genetic makeup. As vitamins and minerals are not commonly considered part of the healthcare model, why would one consider testing their micronutrient status? A possible answer to this question can be found by highlighting a portion of an article present in the June 19, 2002 issue of the Journal of the American Medical Association. The authors of the article in this prestigious journal state that because suboptimal vitamin status is associated with many chronic diseases including cardiovascular disease, cancer, and osteoporosis, it is important for physicians to identify patients with poor nutrition or other reasons for increased vitamin needs. This statement emphasizes the necessity of considering nutrition as a part of the current healthcare model as well as stating the importance of having a credible testing method to identify patients whose nutrition may need to be repleted. Where might you fit as far as being a candidate for micronutrient testing? Here are some interesting facts obtained from the University of Texas Biochemical Institute. According to their findings, they suggest that multiple deficiencies were found in 38% of their tested population that had not been taking supplementation previously, and a staggering 43% were noted with multiple deficiencies in spite of taking supplementation. Only 19% were found to have no deficiencies. This suggests that greater than 4 in 5 individuals walking around have a nutrient deficiency as stated on the previous slide. This may be placing them at risk for developing a chronic disease. This slide presents a sampling of the many things that may deplete your micronutrient levels. You can see this is a rather extensive list and suggests that if you are not having your micronutrient levels checked, then you are likely to have a deficiency of one or more nutrients. It has been my clinical experience that the average patient has between four to six nutrient deficiencies at the time of their initial testing. The nutrients that are tested can be broken down into categories. They include vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and antioxidants. There are also unique categories labeled as spectrox, and carbohydrate and fat metabolism. 
The Spectrox marker is a functional marker that provides information regarding the ability of the cells to handle inflammation. It is one thing to say that you have inflammation, but it is more important to have healthy cells that can overcome this inflammatory state. The carbohydrate and fatty acid metabolism, metabolism markers provide information about the ability of the cells to actively take up glucose for energy and use fats to make a healthy cell. Some of the nutrient deficiencies more commonly seen can be viewed in this graph. To definitively understand what makes SpectraCell's functional intracellular analysis one of the best testing methods available, we must compare it against standard serum testing. Serum testing measures nutrient levels in a very short window. In contrast, SpectraCell testing measures long-term nutrient status over four to six months. This means that nutrient levels are not affected by a recent meal or recent high doses of nutrients from supplementation or any other source. Serum, serum testing measures nutrient status outside of the cell in the serum. As previously mentioned, SpectraCell testing measures nutrient status within the patient's own cells determining absorption. Serum measures static nutrient levels regardless of utilization. Functional intracellular analysis testing measures nutrient function, a truer indication of cellular health. Lastly, serum measurements assume everyone has the same nutritional needs. Functional intracellular analysis recognizes the concept of biochemical individuality. This means that factors such as age, illness, medications, and genetic factors are accounted for whereas this is not the case in traditional serum testing. Nearly all healthcare conditions can be helped by assessing micronutrient levels. As you can see from the list of conditions, most of the common conditions routinely treated in our healthcare system can be found on this list. Likewise, micronutrient testing probably has some of its best applications in working with conditions that have been seemingly difficult to diagnose, where symptoms remain regardless of previous treatment options, and in challenging cases where nutrient levels might be compromised. Incorporation of micronutrient testing into your personal health care is a simple approach. The first step is to identify your needs by having the testing performed. It is a routine blood draw. Second, contact the clinic so that we, we, so that we may work with you to set up a comprehensive treatment program that will incorporate both dietary and nutritional repletion recommendations that I have found to be fast and effective. Lastly, retest after four to six months of care to ensure that your nutrient levels have been restored. If you have additional questions or would like more information regarding SpectraCell's functional intracellular micronutrient testing, please watch the video on my website www.completecarewellnesscenter.com where I go into more detail or contact the office at 281-557-7200 and someone will be happy to assist you. Thank you.